Hi there everyone, so this is a video about um, some mental health treatment um, that I'm just starting. Um, it's called TMS um, and I've never heard of it before um, and it's something that they offer once medication and counselling and therapy and everything doesn't work on mental health. I went for an assessment a few weeks ago um, where they kind of go through um, what's happened in your life and uh, your symptoms and what's kind of gone on and kind of a bit like your mental health timeline I guess. Um, and at first I found that um, quite disheartening actually. Um, I'm not too sure if maybe it was the process. Um, but basically you discuss all these things that have happened and can leave you quite um, exhausted. And you're like, oh, I'm just a walking problem. And I guess that's kind of how I saw myself after that initial assessment. But today I got a call from the doctor um, of the practice and they said that I'm able to start my treatment. I'll take you on my journey of how it goes. The first day was spent mostly just getting my brain waves checked. I'd wear like a little hat that was connected to your head. They connect the little pieces with some aloe vera gel so that they can track your brain waves. The guy was explaining the brain waves um, to me. The second day was the first day of treatment. As you can see, the treatment is where they put the magnetic field around your head and then direct it to the areas that need the treatment. Um, it was really loud and it was exhausting, like mentally and physically exhausting. Um, it goes in stages, so it, goes, it buzzes you and then stops and then buzzes you again. The hardest part with this is that it sent off an anxiety attack. Apparently it's supposed to be quite common because obviously having some magnetic shocks to your head isn't normal. It wasn't painful or anything. The way that I explain it to people is that it was almost like having an electric shock but without the electric. It was almost like a very loud vibration against your head. Whilst I was doing the sessions, the guy got me to do this game. Apparently it's supposed to be for children, but it's supposed to match up your heart rate and your mind. If you could get the balloon flying, your heart and your mind were as one. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me, and it still frustrates me now that I couldn't figure it out because it's not like a normal game, and apparently it's best not to be able to figure it out because the minute that you figure it out, it's not working. But it was really good and it kept my mind off of my anxiety, so that helped. And here are my results. So what it was in the first figure is that there was too much energy in my brain. I had high levels of beta and low levels of theta. And this is what was contributing to my symptoms of anxiety and depression. It was so great to see it down on paper. As you can see in the second figure here is how well my brain had reacted to the treatment. You could just see that the amount of connectivity, it's not even just a little bit, it's like a lot. This will be able to help me control my thoughts and hopefully it will reduce my anxiety and depression as well. Just look at the difference in these brain maps from mapping my brain here. So the red is kind of like the negative and the overactivity and then on the right hand side here is just showing all that red gone. You can see the right hand side here is just the reduced activation in my brain. So hopefully with results like this, with all the red gone and the activity being in the right amounts and also in the right places, I'm kind of hoping for a positive outcome. So it's been a few weeks since my TMS treatment. Um, I haven't really got much to report because I feel too much different, but I'm hoping that will change in the next few weeks because sometimes it can take a few weeks, sometimes it can be instant, 
Um, I have to say though, I haven't had as many anxiety attacks, um, which is honestly a lifeline for me. Being able to not have that is good. Um, I don't know if that's situational or if it's because of the treatment. I mean, I still get anxiety. Like, I, I still get the tightness in my chest and I can't breathe and it's very overwhelming. But I'm hoping that things will get better. So I'd love to know if any of you guys have considered TMS or if this is something that you've done before and how it's worked for you. Um, if your anxiety or depression has completely gone, it's helped with just general day-to-day -day things. Um, I'd love to know how it's helped other people as well. So I hope that this has helped. When I first found out about TMS, I kind of wanted to know more about it, but I never really found people experiences and things like that. So I wanted to share my story. So I hope it's helped and I hope that you can make the right decision for you. So thank you.